Hey Dragon Slayers. So today's video is about why glycemic load matters. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. So the food principle number two is that the glycemic load matters. The vital signs that doctors evaluate every time you step into their office are grossly missing one measurement blood sugar. If there is one tool that will help you understand the direction your health is heading, it's your blood sugar. Blood sugar that is out of normal range can indicate that metabolic disease is brewing. Cardiovascular conditions, high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol levels, increasing waist circumference, diabetes, and fatty liver disease could often be prevented if a woman had a better understanding of the trends of her blood sugar levels. Although there are many things that influence your blood sugar, the foods you eat have, a, have the greatest impact. <clears throat> Yet every food you eat will impact your blood sugar differently. Luckily, there is a system for evaluating a food's impact on your blood sugar numbers. It's called the glycemic index. The glycemic index ranks food on a number of scale from 1 to 100. Foods closer to 100 will spike your blood sugar higher than foods that are closer to rank of 1. Refined carbohydrates like those in a piece of bread tend to score the highest on this index. A piece of whole wheat bread has a glycemic index of 59. A food with a lot of fiber and fat, like an avocado, has a glycemic index of 15. The more foods you eat that are lower on the glycemic index, the less insulin requirements are needed from your pancreas. When you choose foods low on the glycemic index, you reduce both glucose and insulin, making your fasting lifestyle feel effortless. Your blood sugar is not influenced by calories. It's influenced by the macronutrients of food. Understanding these macronutrients or what <clears throat> are often referred to as macros and how they make your blood sugar go up or down is key to thriving with your metabolic health. Choosing macros that keep your blood sugar from spiking high will help you switch over to the fat burner energy system more quickly. Once this switch is made, you will notice your energy increases your weight drops more quickly, and your mental clarity improves. This is such an important concept, since at the root of all chronic disease are foods that constantly elevate your blood sugar. There are three major macronutrients to focus on, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Each one of those macros impacts your hormones differently and will spike your blood sugar in unique ways. Carbohydrates raise your blood sugar the highest, protein the second highest, and fat will help you maintain an even blood sugar level and it may even lower it. In order to be metabolically flexible, balance hormones, and train your body to be a fat burner, you want to keep your blood sugar as stable as possible. Getting to understand these macros is vitally important. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.